Well, what's up, you all? Dobbs Waters is right here, and welcome to another Yu Gi Oh! pack opening. And it's the new month, people, and I thought to myself, you guys deserve it. You guys had one month of just purely Pokemon, then you had some months of purely Yu Gi Oh! Of course, with a lot of the vlogs of Japan, but now that the vlogs of Japan are all over and done with, I thought to myself to have myself a break because the editing of them lot was freaking insane. So I definitely do need a break as well, doing live streams and everything. So, this month is all dedicated to all pack openings once again, people. Yes, we're doing some pack openings. And I have got a massive backlog of stuff to open up, so screw it. You're getting stuff from Japan, you're getting stuff from the newest sets, aka in this timeline that this is being recorded, which is the Scarlet and Violet set. You get my gist. But today, last month, we opened up the first two Mystery Cubes, and I've got the last two Mystery Cubes that are 600 yen a piece. Now, when I finished recording from the last one when I opened this up, for enough, I was surprised. I actually made a, quite a lot of profit, which I was extremely happy. Um, even though we got a lot, a lot of commons, some of the commons were actually quite valuable. So, uh, yeah, props to me. More likely because Chicken Game was a fiver each, and I pulled two of them. And we got two one day of pieces, and they are useful. So, yeah, I was quite happy to get them. So. Let's pray to the gods, and let's see if we get it again. Can we get some amazing pulls from these two mystery cubes? These were from the same store, which was in a Radio Kaikon, if I recall. Um, no, no, it wasn't Radio Kaikon. These were from uh, Mandrake in um, Nakano Broadway. So I'm excited, people, and hopefully you guys are too. So. Let's open up the first one, and let's see the first card we get. So it's an ultra rare. This is from the newest set. Sadly, it's a lot of damage right on top. Can you please focus? Thank you very much. This is from the um, Photon um, Hypernova set. So it's a bit of a bummer that it's uh, quite, quite damaged, but uh, you can't win them all, though, people. You really can't. But let's see what the other ultras and the other special cards are. So we got ourselves another one that just fell over. This is an ultra rare. This is the R Ace cards. This is from the um, Amazing Defenders set. One of the best uh, ultra rares you can actually pull from the set, so that's not too bad. Come on, thank you. And yeah, people, I've just woken up today, so I just thought to myself, a new what? Uh, last night was absolutely insane when I was recording all them pack bins. So I thought, hell with it, we're gonna do a little bit more for the next lot. I think this is one of the uh, new alien cards. Not bad. Let's leave this one up. But you may be thinking, am I going to be putting any price checks on these when it comes to mystery cubes? More likely not because there's a lot, and if we get a lot, a lot of hollows, it's going to be a lot, a lot of editing for me. So I'm going to put the full-on calculation of the um, full price at the end. And bam, number 105 BK. Ultimate rare, which is beautiful to be honest, people. That is a, such a nice card. I'm, I'm happy that you do get yourself four very, very nice holographic cards right from the very get go, and possibly these are the ones that would pay for the actual cube. So these are definitely worth way over three quid easily. More likely, the ultra rare, the ultimate rare, is going to be probably worth around about at least five pound to ten pound. But let's see what the mysteries are all about. Pray to the gods. Okay. So we've got some red ice cards. A Foolish Burial, nice. Magic Jammer, there's our first rare. Summoning Monk, okay. Book of Moon, that's a good card. Some Light Swans. Blue Eyes White Dragon, very good. Okay, it's nice to see some a Blue Eyes White Dragon in, in a Mystery Key, which is nice. Red Eyes as well. Some uh, GX cards as well. Some more Light Swans. Quite a lot of light swans. Oh, nice! We got a, a, a soul dolomation com um, from LOD. That's Legacy of Darkness. Wow, that's a really old card. Oh, nice! Shame it's just an unlimited card. Gamble. Okay, not bad stack there at the minute. Only found two rares at the minute, so that's um, not too bad. But still, hopefully, we make a little bit of money out of these. Okay, so another rare, two rares there, some fish cards, a turtle. Any any crazy commons though is the ones that we want to try and grab. Like if we get them like chicken game and all them lot again, 
That'd be really, really good to be honest. Okay, some more wares. Solemn Wish is not bad, call the Haunted. Okay. Okay, another red eyes. That's nice that we're getting uh, two red eyes already. Another rare, another rare, another rare. Token gift, okay. Cup of Ace is good. Lady of Wit. Some alien cards, some gladiator cards. Another rare. Another rare. Another rare, another rare, okay. At least we're getting rares, at least it's not all commons, which is what we're expecting. Trade in, that's a good card as well. Good card if you want to do your Exodia stuff. Got quite a lot of rares in this in this cube, so this is not too bad, but nothing absolutely amazing at the minute. Okay, okay. Reload. Hmm. At the minute, we're not seeing anything absolutely insane in the membrane, but oh, that's good. That's um, spellbinding circle. The um, the uh, forbidden art. Anything else? No, that is it. Okay. Oh, that that cube was okay. Possibly we may have broken even there, so cannot complain there. I'm gonna put them to the side over here just so they are sorted. Or we'll put the commons over there. But let's go ahead and open up the second one. This one has a lot of um, Utopia cards, so Casper uh, will probably enjoy this one more than anything because Casper uh, does like uh, his Utopia cards, including the very banned one, the Zexel card. So we got ourselves uh, C number 39, again a little bit of crease down the bottom but still not bad. Possibly this is worth about a quid, maybe less, but you can't win them, like I said you can't win them all. There is the band card, S number 0, Zexel. Um, it's 100% banned, you can't play this card whatsoever, it's beyond ridiculous, but it still possibly may hold a little bit of money. Let's try and open up the rest of them without spoiling the rest of the cards. There we go. Next card, we got ourselves uh, C number 39. This is the Ray card, if I recall. That's an ultra rare. And remember people, I did buy all these all on the same day when I was in Japan. So, uh, yeah, I may have been lucky or I may have been absolutely bad luck to death. But this is a secret rare. Um, Number 39 Utopia, which is lovely for a secret rare. But let's see what we can pull out of the rest. Come on. So we got some penguins, some upside down cards, okay. More upside downs. Shard of Greed, okay. Some black wings, a lot of upside down cards, my god. Another upside down. Oh, Ring of Destruction, banned card. Look at that, banned artwork with the grenades. Another rare there. I'm not even going to bother flipping them up right back up. <laughs> Unless there's lots of them. Anything insane that I see? If you guys see anything that's insane, please let me know in the comments down below. Some retro cards there as well. Okay, nothing in that little pile there. We'll put them to the side. It looks like the first Mystery Cubes that we pulled had like chicken game and all that lot. Ooh, uh, limit removal, that's good. Cold Wave, some really old school cars these here people, old school cars these ones. Anything insane, any pot of greeds, anything like that, nice little rare from the old school days. Anything else, another rare, another rare, another one. Oh nice, we got ourselves the green dude. Of the heralds. Okay. Final stack. What can we get? Anything insane? Oh, we got a shatter. Oh, dual terminal. That is good. That is good to have a dual terminal card. I'll take that any day. Dual terminals are definitely worth trying to find. 
Another one that is good. Now we're getting something good. We've got a second dual terminal card. This is from dual terminal number two. Nice. Stealth Roid. That's a uh, that's a Korean one. Cool. Just desserts, Fisher, Summon Skull. Some love lot of old school cards again. Okay, okay, okay. It looks like with common wise, not a lot of insane pulls for the commons. Not like last time. But still though, possibly them two du dual terminal cards, I might have actually gave, get, probably saved me from there. Them two du dual terminals are really, really nice. We have the Shatterfoil one, which is the Evil Swan, if I recall they are, or the Evil Worms. And then you have the X Saber cards, so that's nice. One's from Dual Terminal 14, and this one's from number two, so really, really good. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button. What do you think about my Mystery Cubes? Did I do right? Did I do well, or did I do absolutely terrible? As you guys can see right now, this is the price that I paid for, for a grand total of them two mystery cubes, and this is the profit I made. Or did I lose profit? I do not know. Anyhow, if you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember people, we're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. If you guys can get that done, I'll be showing every inch of my body fully bald, and I'll be donating all the hair to charity. If you guys want that to happen, make sure you do subscribe. It will help out a lot of people including myself. With that being said, the people I'm going to see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Ooh, I think that was a bad mystery cues, but either way, it's a gamble, and I am the gambler. I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh!